Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor. And today I'm going to talk about DUI arrest in your personal vehicle if you have a commercial driver's license. How does that affect your license? Well, basically, uh, the DMV part of a DUI is completely separate from the criminal court part. That means if I went and got your criminal case thrown out today and I went to DMV, they'd say, so what? Mr. Jones still needs to deal with us on his DMV. If I got your DMV taken care of and I went to criminal court, they'd say, big deal, criminal court's completely separate. Now, if you are stopped and you provide blood, breath, or urine and you're above an 08, this is called an administrative per se suspension or admin per se. If you're above an 08, they will suspend you for 90 days. They will give you a 30-60 permit. 30 days of no driving, 60 days you can drive to and from school, work, or the doctor. They'll require you to do alcohol screening to get the work permit. Um, once you do the screening and they say you need X amount of classes, you don't have to do the classes. You just need to do the screening and then you can get the work permit. Now an implied consent suspension. When you drive on the roads of Arizona, you impliedly consent to give blood, breath, or urine if a law enforcement officer asks you to. If you don't, you lose your license for one full year. This is called a refusal. They'll get a warrant and draw your blood anyway, but this is what's called a refusal if you make them get the warrant. Now, they can give you what's called a three month, nine month permit. Three months of no driving, nine months you can drive to school, work, the doctor, for work. But you have to have alcohol screening and you need an SR-22. What is that? That's a fancy term. You have to pay more money to the insurance company so they can rat you out if your insurance ever lapses. That is SR-22. You also have to put an interlock device or a breath testing device on your steering wheel. You have to blow into it every time you start your car and every 15 minutes after your car is running you have to blow into it again otherwise your engine will cut out. Every 90 days you take your car down, they unload the chip and they test it to make sure you weren't above a 0 to 0 uh, breath alcohol. That's because 0 to 0 maybe had some um, maybe you had some medication with alcohol. Uh, you know, they give you a little bit of leeway. Now what's our advice? If you have a CDL and you're driving and you get pulled over, we always advise people if it's in their personal car, submit to a breath or blood or urine test on the first offense. Submit on the second offense also within seven years because you're still eligible for the permit. On a third offense or if your license is suspended or if you have a kid that's 15 or younger, don't. Those are felonies. Make them get the warrant. Now, with your CDL, if you have a clean record, you're in your personal vehicle and the affidavit is upheld where the suspension's upheld, they're going to hit you with a one-year CDL disqualification. What does that mean? Your Class A license is now downgraded to Class D. Then you have a regular license and you do the 3060, what we talked about. After one year later, you can then get your Class A license again. But here's the kicker. If you're convicted of the DUI at any point after you've started your suspension, could be three months later, six months later, a year later, a year and a half later, that one year disqualification starts all over. So it's pretty serious stuff. You need to try and beat the DUI and the suspension if at all possible. Now here's what we tell people. If you're ever stopped for DUI, whether you have a CDL or not, and the cop says, sir, have you been drinking? Or ma'am, have you been drinking? Or did you rob a bank? Or did you kill 10 people? The answer is the same to all three. I'm not going to answer questions or do any tests until I talk to my lawyer. That way you haven't lied and you haven't confessed. You call us. We have a 24-hour answering service, 24-hour pager. My cell phone and my lawyers will call you back. So that's 602-307-0808. Put it in your phone right now under the word lawyer. You'll never forget it. Just go to lawyer, give us a call. Um, if you're out and you have a CDL and you've been drinking, here's my advice. The minute you order a third beer or a third drink, take an Uber, take a cab, don't even risk it because driving is your livelihood. So if you've been arrested or charged or a friend or a loved one's been charged, give us a call. We'll meet with you for free. It doesn't cost anything, but it'll take about 30 minutes. We'll go over your case with you from top to bottom in our office, and I can help detail in more depth how CDLs are affected by DUI allegations. Take care.